name is Jessica and this is The Dollhouse and today we are unboxing Stitched in Style Frankie Stein. This doll is gorgeous. She is beautiful and I cannot wait to pull her out of this box. Let's go over the details first. The box has this metallic font here that says Stitched in Style Frankie Stein. We have stitching and blue and teal details all around this box. This doll was an Amazon exclusive and I purchased her for $50. And this is a Mattel product. Here is the back of her box and she is just gorgeous. Let's read this if you don't mind. Stitched in style Frankie Stein. Frankie Stein is stitched together in a look that electrifies. Stitching style with edge, Frankie Stein stuns in a deconstructed couture gown that electrifies the timeless art of tailoring and dressmaking. Reminiscent of a dress mannequin, a halter bustier with top stitching is paired with a ruched overskirt with asymmetric layers of creeperific tool. Accented with a dramatic chain, a gorgeous chained headdress with a crown of needles and matching train bracelets creates a high voltage fashion. Her look is finished with patchwork stilettos with a chic needlepoint heel. Elegant and electrifying, Frankie Stein is perfectly pulled together in a look that will have ghouls falling at the seams. Here's Frankie partially unboxed and you can see her skirt details printed on the box with draping chains. You can see the Monster High logo over here. And she just looks really good, guys. It's hard for me to unbox dolls sometimes because they look so good in their packaging. Does that make me weird? They just look so like art. It's art. And don't forget to turn this around. Back here, you will find her certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity comes in this plastic sheet. I'm going to keep it in there. It is blank in the back. And it says, this certifies that your Monster High stitched in style Frankie Stein doll materialized through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. And this was by Annalise Lau. And I love her work. She comes with her doll stand. And that's in the shape of the Monster High logo. And here is Frankie out of the box. She is drop dead gorgeous. And I love her. <laughs> she is just so pretty. Everything about this doll is just so detail and I just feel like it's gonna take forever to go over her because she's just so pretty like okay I love this Annalise Lau like I'm gonna have to follow her on Instagram TikTok whatever I need to see all of her work because she's talented and I love the passion that she puts into her dolls this doll is amazing let me show you her face and she has the mismatch eyes. I know there's a fancy word for it, guys, but I cannot think of it right now. But um, she has her blue eye here and her green eye here. Her makeup is turquoise blue with gray and black eyeshadow. There's no rooted eyelashes or anything like that and no glitter either. Um, her eyebrows are dark gray. And you can see a little peek of what she would look like if she did not have this fabulous bang. She has her stitching here, and she has this silver metallic lip. I tried to mock it with my dark lip because I don't have silver lipstick, but <laughs> I love this color on her. I love these colors on her. Her hair is amazing. It's very soft. There's not much product, if any, at all. Because y'all know I don't know if it's product in here or not, but it just feels really soft, and it's laying down really nicely. I love a doll with not, like, she, there's no product in her hair. I'm just going to say there's no product in her hair. She has silver, I'm going to say it's white, black, and gray. I think the bangs are probably just black and white, but the way the white and the black are mixing, it seems like I'm getting a little bit of gray in there. And she has this white tendril on each side of her bang. Going up, you see this top knot that is accentuated with this needle crown. And in the back, you see where her top knot comes out over her caged chain work here down her hair and there's the black hair there and with these chains we've got little points here like knife like points there are spurs and it's just really nice a really nice headpiece and it just goes so well with this overall look especially with the chains on the dress I love it. I'm eating this look up. She also has these safety pins in her hair on each side as well. 
it seems like there's a little detail in there that I'm not quite picking up, but it looks really cute. I love the bulkiness of these safety pins in her hair. Going down to her outfit, you can see this corset bustier top that they described in her on her box and there's some white stitching this is a pleather like detail and it is a crop top it ties around her neck with ribbon and in the back it's secure with velcro and you can also see those little bolts in her neck and this was like one of my favorite things i uh, viewing these dolls when i was younger seeing the g1 monster high dolls and seeing those little bolts in her neck i'm like and I still like it. It's very, very cute. And this is like the G1 style Frankie. That's why I'm calling her she. I'm using the she, her pronouns instead of they, them. Uh, she has some nice accessories as well. This are, is a two-piece accessory on her arm. We have this upper and lower piece. And I'm not sure how to remove this. Um, I'm thinking that you take her hand off and slide it off. And you can see uh, with her pale green ghoulish skin that she has this stitching included in her design as well her articulation is really smooth we've got um head articulation arm articulation wrist and leg i love this like the little skinny bodies like it's just so nice i just love this model-esque figure that she has i like the g32 don't mess with me okay but she's just gorgeous i have like a thing about g1 style monster high dolls um going down to her asymmetrical asymmetrical skirt and this chunky piece here with this design on it as well guys i know this pattern has a name i cannot think of the name of it i don't know what's up with me today but i really like this design it is red green black white and you see that detail in there and there's also some metallic stitching out accents in there and with this chain work this is stitched down to her dress and i recommend or i suggest that you leave that on there because the way that's stitched on there it accentuates the puffy details of the dress. And I think once it's detached, it may move along uh, really freely and won't accent or it won't complement the dress as well. But that's just my opinion. You're going to do what you want to do anyway. But um, I mean that in the best way. Like, do you, boo? Uh, this attaches over here with this little button. That's how you remove this. And this has a tool lining there at this ruffled waistline this is actually secured with an elastic band so this is not attached with velcro going down to this additional tool skirt this is the tool asymmetrical lining here and the pieces that stick out that makes it look really nice and this raw edge if this raw edge wasn't here this would look amazing as just in another piece of this dress but i'm gonna be honest with you the raw edge doesn't even bother me that much I'm going to show you what this skirt looks like without this additional piece and leaving the crop top on because I think it's kind of cute. Um, going down to her shoes, it's super duper strappy and it does have the silver here and it's like stitched details along there and you can see stitching here. It's super strappy. And here's the back. This looks a little loose when I attempted to remove her shoes. And then I just pulled them back on because I didn't want to remove it because I felt like I stretched this plastic. And I can't get it to wrap along her leg the way it originally did. So I must have pulled it too hard or something. So I'm just going to leave that there instead of removing her shoe today. Um, go, here's the back of her heels. And this is like a needle point. And it's really transparent. You can see some of the details in this chunky black heel. And you can squish it. It's like stitching. And here's the bottom of that. And this is hollow. I didn't show you her earrings. Let's go back up. Her earrings look as if they're a needle and thread. And if they're not a needle and thread, they may be like open scissors on each ear and I may be wrong I think it may be a needle and, and thread to match her heel and there's also scissors hanging on this chain at the end of her dress 
here on her belt there's like a um pin ball a pin cushion and i didn't notice that at first i'm like what's that glob of plastic that's a pin cushion on her chains here so y'all i think this look is cute <laughs> i think this is so cute this is just the under layer and her top and i'm digging this look if this was like covered with a ribbon or something and i kind of don't even care that is not because i think that's cute let me know what you think like she might have to rock this this is cute too like this is better like i'm not saying that this is better than that but it's still a look Guys, I love these dolls. I have them both out because they are the two Amazon exclusives that I have. You can check out Vampire Heart Draculaura, Draculaura's video in my videos as well. And Frankie is just amazing and just beautiful. I'm not a huge fan of the saddle stands, but I understand why because they have so much detail and so much going on at their waist to where that stand wouldn't be beneficial for them. But saddle stands just are no fun. They just wobble around and I can't place them the way I want to when I, I just want some dramatic poses but I can't do that with their legs with the saddle stand because they're gonna fall but they look beautiful they're amazing they're so detailed let me show you how I pinned back her hair underneath this crown I pulled her hair over or underneath these two pieces that were kind of beneath it this piece here and I put it over the top and I think that looks really good I think she looks just so beautiful I love this doll I love this collection and I hope they do a Laguna Blue in this style or in as an Amazon exclusive and a Claudine. I hope that the Holiday Doll wasn't the Amazon exclusive. I'm not sure, but I just need those two. I might have to get the Holiday Claudine, but I wasn't a huge fan as I am with these two. I think these dolls are fantastic. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. I hope you enjoyed this review because I really enjoy filming it. My name is Jessica. This is Dollhouse, and I'll see you next time. Peace.